The witness says when he drove up, the victim had already been in an accident. He was sitting on the curb. Exactly. I got out. I went up and asked him if they were here. They called the police. He said, yeah, you called the police already. So you talked to him, he said? I asked him what happened. He said, I just wanted to know what happened. He said, I just wanted to know what happened. He said, I just wanted to know I saw him sit there and wait, and I'm waiting for the police to get there, make sure don't nobody come back and re-wreck this car. You know, so I stayed in the line, and the car's lights on, you know, car was going around, but, and all of a sudden I see this Cadillac, black Cadillac, I want to say it was a Cadillac STS, or something like that, they were pulling in front of his car. He says the driver then got out of the Cadillac and approached the victim. I didn't know if they were talking for us to that kind of thing. Did you hear him say anything? I couldn't hear him say anything. The witness says the car sped off before he could get the license plate number. I didn't know what to do. I don't know. So I said, well, I'll go chase this car now. You went straight behind the car. The car. And he says he tried to follow the Cadillac, but he lost it. He then spotted a patrol car off the interstate. And I got off and I ran through there and I talked to the officers and told them what I get to see and what happened. The witness says the shooter is a black male. Yeah, he had short hair. But how tall do you think he was? He's about six months, six feet. Okay, what about complexion? Um, would you recognize his face if you saw him? Oh, yeah. All right. All right, here's a man. He's directing the traffic to keep so they won't hit him. And he said, this thing no black STS pulls over. The driver gets out. He says something to him. Then he just shoots in the head. Relax for me, not everything other than just to clear. Detectives aren't certain whether the initial collision with the white Maxima is related to the murder. Uh, but he said, if he saw him again, you know, if we come up with a good suspect, he probably got identified. Mm -hmm. yeah, Something conspired uh, from where they were coming from that we don't know yet. Uh, for him to just walk up to him and say something, some words to him, and just shoot him for no reason. Yeah, they've been some kind of argument or some fight or something. Something. Three hundred and seventy miles north.